Hi, I'm Kevin Wing and I specialize in shooting vehicles in motion. In this video, I'm going to share with you some of the techniques that I use in order to get great shots of vehicles in motion. We'll explore these techniques on the same roads that I got my start. I started with very limited equipment, a manual focus film camera, and a handheld light meter. You don't need the most expensive camera gear but you do need a solid understanding of how your camera works and how to create a dynamic shot. There are no secret f-stops to shutter speeds. Practice makes perfect and these five tips should get you on the fast track to better images. Today I'll be shooting a high performance street bike on Canyon Roads with a Canon EOS 1DX. I'll be using lenses that range from a 35 millimeter wide angle all the way to a 300 millimeter telephoto. You'll be able to apply these tips and techniques to any moving vehicle on an urban or rural road. There's plenty of room for interpretation whether you choose to shoot on manual, aperture priority, or shutter priority. Don't worry if you have entry level gear, technique is much more important. One of the biggest challenges when shooting fast moving vehicles like motorcycles is to make sure that your subject is in focus. When shooting a head on angle, you want to choose an aperture that will give you enough depth of field to cover your subject from front to back. With motorcycles and cars, I'm usually around F8. Canon cameras have lots of features and settings for different situations. I usually shoot a single point or expanded points while shooting an AF mode AI servo. I will usually have the focus point on the most important part of the bike, making sure that the area has the highest contrast for auto focusing. In some situations, I'll pre-focus on a particular area in the road and wait for the motorcycle to come to me. One of the most important shots is a profile pan shot. The background, foreground, and wheels all have motion blur while the subject remains tack sharp. When shooting on canyon roads, speeds are usually well under 60 mile an hour. I usually shoot with a 70 to 200 millimeter lens or 300 millimeter lens when there is enough open space. My camera settings are dependent on the speed of the vehicle and how many chances I have to get the shot. A 250th shutter speed is a good starting point if you only have a single opportunity. If you have the time for multiple passes, you can experiment with a lower shutter speed of 1 125th through 1 30th of a second. But keep in mind, using a 1 60th or lower shutter speed is very dynamic but also very low percentage sharpness even for a pro. It always helps to have smooth pavement and a smooth rider or driver. The key to a smooth pan is to flow with your subject with both your hips and shoulders. Use a relaxed, steady hand. The vehicle should not be moving within the frame. And remember to follow through. One of the most popular angles for magazines and advertising work is the three-quarter front action shot. This is an angle that can be used for two page spreads or cover shots. It's a high energy shot where you see the rider or driver's eyes. Nine times out of 10, I'll grab the 300 millimeter lens. I'm primarily interested in freezing peak action in the corner while maintaining some wheel blur. Shutter speeds usually range from 1 500th of a second to 1 250th of a second. Ideally, this would be a shot in a constant radius corner where steering inputs would be minimal. Choose your location with emphasis on a background that will make your image pop. As for lighting, ideally side lighting versus direct will bring out the shape in your subject. Make sure you maintain a smooth hand, keep your subject centered in the frame, and follow through to minimize unwanted motion. A location or atmospheric shot should look like a landscape photo all on its own. The location is the star and the vehicle is secondary. Oftentimes these shots have lots of breathing room and are composed with a rule of thirds in mind. You rarely want to put the subject in the middle of the frame. Think about creating 
atmosphere, and drama, a real I wish I was there moment. Let's face it, many locations are ordinary. Picking the right lens, shutter speed, and f-stop to isolate your subject is key. Extremely low or high angles can give a dramatic effect. Don't get stuck with the same shots. Experiment with your perspective and maximize the uniqueness of your location. Just because you're shooting action doesn't mean you're shooting everything with a telephoto lens. I always take advantage of an opportunity to shoot directly overhead or go super wide. Magic hour is what most photographers live for. The low angle of the sun creates incredible detail and warm color with evenly dispersed light. This is opposed to shooting at high noon where everything tends to be blanketed in a washed out, unflattering light. In fleeting light, there are lots of dynamic shots, whether it's backlit with sun flare or side lit with enhanced contrast. Even a front lit shot can be dramatic in magic hour. There's something to be learned every day that you shoot. Get out there, have fun, and keep it safe.